Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting subject. Is I will be actually giving superpowers to my AI agent and N8N using MCP. But why are we, <laughs> I am talking about MCP, it should be like something I would say dead for now. But it's not true actually because MCP has gotten even better and everybody out there, every company, OpenAI, Anthropic, and also Google Gemini are investing in MCP. So you should know about this. And why actually I'm using MCP client here as a tool instead of using already nodes that are existing. So actually in NHN, you cannot have every node out there. For example, if you try to get YouTube node here as get transcript, for example, you will not be able because it does it, it is not there. So for me, I have I I use get transcript for my videos to create my descriptions, etc. So I have to use another tool that allows me actually to get this MCP. And so the MCP has to be kind of a server MCP. So it has to be hosted. So there is two ways to host it. You can host it by yourself or you can host it outside. Okay. So that's why I will just give a demo to actually talk about what I'm talking about. We will take a YouTube video. For example, I will take mine. Or oh, let's take the YouTube video from uh, Nate Herc. That's a guy that I like in this space. Uh, because he simplifies things. So you just take this video and you can, for example, you can say, okay, can Today, you... We're going to be talking about how you can build okay, let's, anything with let's stop him talk. <laughs> but what I can say is, can you summarize what has been said in this video? And what will happen actually is, so the AI agent will go to the MCP and it will get the transcript and it will actually summarize whatever is in the video using the MCP client. So in this video, I will show you how you can do it by yourself, how you can host it in your machine and using your machine as an MCP server without actually doing um, a hosting outside of your service. And it's going to be all for free. Okay, guys. So as you can see, so it talks about base 44. It allows you to create, etc. blah, 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 blah. Already know the answer. So let's now move and show you how we can do it by ourselves. So there are two tools actually to install. So there are the Docker. You install it for the desktop and you will install the ngrok and i will be explaining why we have to install the ngrok so when you will actually install this uh, docker desktop you will normally not have the mcp toolkit so how to do it and how to have it you go into settings you go to um, let me see beta features and you enable docker mcp toolkit you click apply and you close okay but then you will get the catalog you can choose whatever you want so there are a lot of mcp uh, MCPs out there that you can use and you just have to add it. That's it. You add the server and you come here and it's added and you can use it. Okay. So great. So now how actually to host this, uh, uh, to host it, to host it. So you can actually be able to get it from your N8N uh, platform. So what you will do actually is you will use ngrok and you will use docker okay so what we will do is we will launch the docker catalog and a port and i will show you how to do it it's very easy you don't have to be a coder to know this uh, you just open a powershell okay and you will open two powershells actually the first one you will run this i'll put this in the comment section so you can have it so you will run this command docker mcp gateway run 8080 transport streaming and it will actually run your docker catalog mcp okay so as many as mcps that you have chosen it will be in the catalog and it will be accessible to your llm and then later on you just actually uh, create an ngrok instance and i will also create actually uh, i will give also the command line here but the command line that i've used is ngrok http 8080 what it means is it will create a url that is an outside url that you can use for uh, uh, for your your instance so this url actually is accessible via the web that's why uh, you can use it for example in an 8 n local host uh, sorry in an 8 n uh, cloud version so you just come here you open up you, you you actually come here of course you take your tool mcp tool and you add it here in the tools you will open it up you will just pass the http request that we got from ngrok as i showed you you will choose http streamable and there is no authentication because I don't use authentication for now, but you can secure it if you want. You can ask ChatGPT who will tell you how to do it. But that's how I do it. And that's it. And my LLM has access actually to the MCP and I can do 
uh, I would say I can I can get access to those MCP lists without actually paying any service because I've seen that there's a lot of services out there that offer this, but you don't have to. You just have to do these two steps and it's going to be all good. This will actually empower your um, your, your LLMs. You can do also this for uh, ChatGPT. Uh, I will show you how to do it. I will do another video to actually show how to do it. I hope you like the video and you find it pretty insightful. And if you do, you can subscribe to the channel. And also I have my AI community if you want to join. Uh, the link would be in the description in the first comment below. Have a good day and see you in the next one.